We may have just witnessed one of the best Olympic hockey games of all time that does not involve the men. It actually involves the women. So let me set the scene for you guys, and then I will get into all of your tweets. Now, one of the best parts about the story that I'm about to tell is that Edwin, one of our fine, fine employees here at the Young Turks, said, oh yeah, the last time I checked, uh, the U.S. were up 2 nothing." So let me set the scene for you there and how we got to that point. The first period, goalless. The second period, Wisconsin Badger alum Megan Dugan uh, and Massachusetts Native, that's the word. Wordplay on TYT Sports. Megan Dugan, Massachusetts native, Wisconsin Badger alum, uh, even though my Indiana Hoosiers hate Wisconsin. She scores in the second period, and then later on in the third, the U.S. add another. Now, with 3.26 left in regulation, three minutes and 26 seconds away, the Americans are, from winning a gold medal over the powerhouse that is the Canadian women's national team, Here's basically what happens. So 326 left. Canada then, then goes on to score. So there you go, Edwin. It's suddenly 2-1. And uh, um, that's with 326 left. The goal scorer was Brianne Jenner via uh, Mickelson and LaRock. 54.6 seconds left until the Americans are awarded the gold medal in Sochi. The Canadians are on a power play. They have the extra attacker on. And they do indeed score once again. It is Pouillon, so suddenly it's a 2-2 affair. And it's getting intense. More intense than some of the men's games that we have seen. And when these two teams face off, whether it's Canada and the U.S. in the men's or women's, it is always what seems to be a, a, a not to be cliche, but must-see TV. So then we go into overtime, and the U.S. goes on a power play. Six seconds into that power play, Megan Bozak fires a shot from the right point. Buffalo Grove native, by the way, of Illinois. Rah, rah. Uh, fires a slap shot, and she has a deadly slap shot. It is saved. And then for some reason, right on the doorstep, Jocelyn uh, Lamaru, as any hockey player does in this fucking situation, any any other hockey player does, she puts down her stick and, and uh, um, stick on the ice and tries to pat in uh, the puck into the back of the net. She tries to put the biscuit in the bag, trying to possibly give the U.S. the winning goal in the gold medal final. They call Lamaru for slashing six seconds into this power play. And this, this is a call where you heard the color commentator, you heard Pierre Maguire like, oh my God, fucking dude. Like it's, it's such a petty call with six seconds. And like, oh my God, with six seconds into the power play and Twitter blew the fuck up. It blew up more than J. Cole's song Blow Up that Bart is in love with right now, our stage manager here at DYT. You're looking at this and you're thinking, this is, this is a play that happens every single day, no matter what rank, no matter what pond you are on, you're always trying to jab and take one subtle jab to try and put the puck into the back of the net. Lemaru gets called for slashing. An insane call, especially in a gold medal final. So that negates the power play. And then, uh, with a, a, a four on three that the Canadians would later, uh, later be uh, given, Obviously, it falls to three-on-three three hockey. In this size rink, tremendous. A lot of room, uh, especially for some of these speedier players. But then, uh, uh, Haley uh, uh, Wickenheiser, the top women's goal scorer ever, ever, suddenly goes and uh, she has a one-on-one -on -one, uh, down the ice. Hillary Knight then it appears gets her feet tangled up it looks it appeared that she held wickenheiser at first and again wickenheiser was on a breakaway but hillary knight the 22 year old also from wisconsin and has turned into as pierre mcguire says one of the finest if not the best he said the best women's hockey player this year uh, goes and catches wickenheiser but it, it looked like that they would be awarded Canada a penalty shot because Hillary Knight dragged her down. Replays would later show, and I even bring up a tweet. Uh, who is this fine gentleman's name? I'm trying to look for it right now. Craig Button, retweeted by John Butchergross, tweeted, It's not a penalty when the feet get tangled up. Hillary Knight did not commit a foul. That is Craig Button's tweet. I went back because I was watching on my sling box. I uh, went back, free plug, and looked at it. It's true. The feet did get tangled up. Wickenheiser fell down. They did not award a penalty shot. Canada went on the power play. And then Pouillon scores again and beats Jesse Vetter. And I slunk in my chair for a good five seconds. And then I watched the reactions as NBC so lovingly does with all these players. You see the raw emotions that were on the Americans' faces. And you're watching them and you just see them starting to break down and whatnot. It was hard to see. 
but the Canadians celebrate a gold medal win, albeit in interesting fashion. By the way, Adam Scorgi, who is a fantastic director and has worked with our Andrew Napier here uh, on TYT, he even texted me. He is a humongous Canadian. Uh, <laughs> he is Canadian. He loves the Oilers. Give him shit for it. But he is also very, very informed when it comes to Olympic hockey. And here's what he tweeted at me, verbatim, not kidding. The Wickenheiser penalty I could, quote, kind of see if you didn't have a good angle, but the slashing call could have been the worst call I have ever seen. This is a guy who fucking loves hockey, has seen more hockey than I have. He has some years on me. Uh, he he, is, he is a, has a tremendous knowledge of the sport. And then he also said this, the slashing call was complete horseshit on Jocelyn Lamoureux. Don't even feel right about that win. This is for the gold medal, and he's being honest that he doesn't feel right about it. Do you feel right about it? Here were all of your tweets on this fine, fine match. Steven Olmos tweets Abrix Rama, amazing game by both sides, just goes to show no lead is safe, hashtag go Canada, go fuck yourself Steven, no I'm just kidding, look, yeah, no lead is ever safe, and the point that I just made off the air before we started reading these tweets was that, if the, it, look, we could talk about the penalties and how they were horseshit and whatnot, and they were, let's, let's not be, let, let's not be harsh enough on those calls, but with 326 to play and you have a 2-0 lead, you gotta close the door on the Canadians, you have to. And unfortunately, the women's team kind of choked in the end. Did they choke? Did they not choke? You could leave a thought in the comments. They had a 2-0 lead. They had to hang on. Talk about the penalties all you want. They shouldn't even be in a position to call those penalties. They should have wrapped it up in regulation. Hot Spur Blog, Twitch Abbott irrelevant, but keep up the good work, massive fan. All right, thank you, sir. James Schneider, Schneider says, this gold means a lot more uh, to us than the vast majority of Americans. By the reactions on Twitter and throughout the Olympics, I would say maybe, but there has the women's game and just hockey in general has gained so much traction in this country ever since ESPN pretty much dumped the NHL and NBC picked it up. So I, I, I guess agree to disagree, but continuing along. A. Raniga tweets Abrix Rami, you're right. The lunge at Wickenheiser should have been a penalty shot. Oh well, you still lost. Thank you, sir. Ask fan tweets Abrix Rami, Canada showing why they're the best must be truly uh, gutting for an American. So close. So close, indeed. Andrew Phillips, Twitch Abrix Rama, it shouldn't have gone to OT, but I've got to know, do the refs have any idea what slashing actually looks like? Apparently not. At least the Olympic refs certainly do not. David Peraquive, my favorite name to say, Twitch Abrix uh, uh, let's see, not gave up the 2-0 lead, so don't blame the refs 100% for the loss. Still a great game, one for the ages. I also have to give credit to the U.S. women's hockey team for playing a great game. They could have won had they not gave up. Dude, they didn't give up. Oh, 2 nothing late. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Let them win. Who gives up? Evan F. Now, because the women's team won, I think USA is going to win the men's. I do too, actually. I have a little side bet with Adam Scorgi. Thomas Iani, which I was from, the U.S. winning 2 nothing with four minutes left. Regardless of the terrible officiating, you can't give up a lead like that. I will end on that note because we are in incredible agreement. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Comments section below. And also do me a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.